Previously on The Bill. Give the Bronte a miss for a while. I need you to be in a certain place tomorrow morning. All right, have someone half decent with you. That's what you got to do. Well, the new super's coming tomorrow. Ocaro, Adam Ocaro. Do you know him? Tony Barrett, street name Reload. Now, that's not allegedly a reference to guns, but it's actually DJ speak for putting on a record. Now, he's a fan of a State of the Nations FM, which is why the flat that that radio operates from is fast becoming a dealing point. Now, he's top boy in this crew, and he wants a piece of the Bronte, which is where all the aggro's coming from. So, did any of you see the local rag this morning? Right, well, the Bronte's not a no-go area and we're not going to let it turn into one. So why are we getting this trouble now? Well, this guy Tony Barrett has been kicked off his patch in West London and he's looking for a new turf. Do we know where he lives? No, we don't know what car he drives or what he does for fun either. But now we know what his ugly mug looks like and what his street name is. It shouldn't be too difficult to get the rest. The others. I still want brothers, sisters, boyfriends and girlfriends. Send aside we know about. Real deal, now they're still a mystery. And I don't like mysteries. Not with a new superintendent on the way. OK. You got a minute? Do you know that favour I'm going to need you? Can you be up by the Bronte this morning? Yeah, well, I can't just drop off the radar, can I? Yeah, but you don't have to. It's a piece of cake. Just a routine stop and search. I point them at you. You do the business. Well, if you're going to be there, why can't you do it? Yeah, well, it's got to look accidental. Look, I've got a source to protect. All right, she's young, she's vulnerable. She's depending on you. All right, just like I am. Yeah, right. You got your mobile? Look, if it's going to be accidental, I can't use the radio, can I? Yeah, I've got it. Oi, cheer up. The DCI's gonna love you. This is all about impressing the new super. Samantha says you've identified the gang in this turf war. Team effort. Seen this? Yeah, especially the bit about police sources. What police sources? But they're right. I have to spend in foot patrols. Well, that doesn't make it a no-go area. TSG will make sure of that. TSG? That inflame things. I've only suspended foot patrols, not vehicles. We don't need to go in that heavy-handed, Jack. Do we? Do you think that's what the new super would want? Yeah, well, he's not in charge yet, is he? I am. So who are we waiting for? Whoever comes out. I just want to see if the address is connected to this crew business or not. How good's your information? Well, that's what we're here to find out, Ken. In my experience, these people never get up before lunch. They come out at night. Business end of the day's after dark for them, club hours. They sleep in most of the time. It's a two-tier world out there. Day people and night people. Yeah, well, Bango's your theory. There's our man and he's not asleep. You are. Yeah, well, I'm all right. I'm all right. There's a stroke of luck. Right, you follow them. I'll stay here. Contact me by phone. Well, go on, then. We don't want to lose them. I thought we were just confirming an address. If you got after them, we might be able to confirm a lot more. All right, don't get in their faces, but we've got to get all we can get. Or was you not at the briefing? Go on. Turn on there for me. Buzz is through, we ain't got me car with me. Could you say please? Please. Could you put him through, Lord? What did you do to him? He feels guilty. Why? I asked him out, he said no. Now he thinks I want his babies and he can't cope. 
about Simon? Did you find out why he blew you out? Oh, not a word. But I'll find him, and when I do, he's going to know about it. Okay, so how about this? I've got Reload and his mate talking to some guy who's just got out of a BMW. It might be Detroit's, but I, I can't see for sure. Where are you? On County Road at the back of the estate. Well, stay there. I'm coming right over. Okay, Nick. Showtime. No, I'm busy. Get yeah, unbusy then. You on your Todd? No, I'm not. Well, let someone else deal and get yourself over on the Canley Road. Nick, like now. Go on. Where are they? Over there. Hello? We're on Canley Road now. Where are you? Right, North End. Now, they're in a black BMW. Registrations, X-Ray 592 Charlie Echo Papa. And there's four of them. Four? Look, we're 100 metres away. Don't worry. And all we want's names and addresses, OK? OK. You doing a stop and search? <sighs> yeah, uniform, huh? Well, why? It's not what the governor said. Well, they're obviously up to some trouble, aren't they? I thought we were intelligence gathering. It doesn't mean turn a blind eye if we chance across something. Chance? She's straight. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? Right, lads. What's going on here, then? Is this car yours? Sierra Oscar from 518, car check, please. Stop on Canley Road. Received. Uh, bear with me, Cash. Right, out you get. The rest of you stay in the car, please. I've reason to believe you're in possession of controlled drugs. I'm going to search you, then I'm going to search the car. Go and stand up against right. the wall, please. Yeah. Go ahead now. Stand over here, please. X-ray, 5 Go, 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 go. Oi! Come here! Go, go. Cash this one! Stop! Get over there! Oh, get in! Hey! What's up? Hey? Engine's assistance! Engine's hey. assistance! Hey. Honey, hey. Get hey. in the car! Hey! Hey! hey. 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 No, Cash! Oh, Stay back! Oh. 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 Give me your hand! I'll chase the other one! Stay there! You don't have to say anything, but it may. I'm your defence if you do not mention when questioned. Stay there! Coming with you later, relying in court. <laughs> Just guessing, but I'd say that wasn't supposed to happen, was it? <sighs> there he is! Go on. Chase him, I'll go round. I lost him. Where? I don't know, he must be on the Bronte. Get in the car, come on. Cass, I found something here. Just a routine stop and search. I could have been chopped up. Yeah, all right. I took the man down, didn't I? You knew this was a drug deal. Was it? Look, don't play games with me. I found something in the car. Take a look. Go on.
You nearly got me sliced up. Did you see the size of that machete? Nearly's not the same as did, is it? Yeah, of course not. Look, I didn't know this was a drug deal, and I didn't know they were going to be told up. I was simply given a name and address, and this is where it led. But it seems to me you got a pretty tasty result. And I'm not going to say it was me who put you onto it, because then I'd have to say you told me. You just play it that you found them, and I heard your shout on the radio. It's a decent colour, Nick. There's got to be nearly a kilo in there. That's good work. So why don't I trust you? That beats me, mate. Have you had a chance to speak to him yet? No. We'll go and see if he's feeling talkative. Nervy's got no idea what I'm talking about. Look, I think we're going to take a poke down the scale and see if there's anyone there we know. And Nick, nice work. Ken? Right, Detroit. You look like you've been running. Yeah, I have actually. Went running earlier. Not as fit as I used to be, though, you know. It takes a while to get my colour back. Yeah, that wouldn't be ten minutes ago on Canley Road, would it? No. I've been here for what? Half an hour? Half an hour at least. Anyone vouch for you? Of course. You ask anyone in here. Ask him behind the bar. Or any of these boys, they'll tell you. Half an hour at least. Why, has uh, something happened, is it, Mr. Hunter? Did you see who dropped this? No, Sarge. The, uh, that's the weapon. I want to see a doctor. And why's that? Your friend bounced me down with him car, innit? Could have killed me. What's he talking about? Um, Diaz Hunter Sarge, he took him out with his car. Well, that's a Pollack. He needs to report it to traffic. What was he doing there, anyway? Uh, he responded to Cassie's call for assistance, Sarge. All right, put him in number two. But I said I want to see a doctor. Yeah, and you'll get one the minute he stops shouting at me. He bounced me down with him car. Look after me. Yes, yeah. sir. Watch me. Watch me. Is that Murder you. Look after Yeah, wicked man. Where? Where? The uh, suspect stepped out into the road, Sarge, but I don't think DS Hunter meant to hit him. And I told Nick he could take credit for that uh, collar on his own. Uh-huh. See how annoyed he got about that sword play? <laughs> really? Why am I not surprised? So now I reckon it's better all round if we say we showed up after. Get my drift. Better than telling the DCI why we stuck our own. Well, Nick said Ian and Cass are gonna say it was a routine stop and search. It's better that you're not the odd one out, Ken. Or what? Or nothing. I just want to put a cherry on it for Nick. So his nose is not out of joint, OK? Look. Look, it is a favour to me. Then I'll owe you one. How's that? Nicola's arrested our prom, though. Yeah, we know. We went to assist. We had coke on him. That's good, isn't it? It is what it is. Nick. You booked him in? Yeah. But you should know he's well cut up about you running him over. And what do you say? I said it was his own fault that he stepped out into the road. Good man. I owe you. Well, I guess I'd better report him. Yeah, did you uh, find anyone? No, just Detroit's acting smug, so he must have known what happened. Did you find anything in the car? No. Well, that big bag's enough. Well done. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. There's something different about you. And there is. You got your hair different. Maybe it's your lipstick. Well, you're not going to fess up. See yourself. I have to ask Mickey. See if he's noticed. Things that make you go hmm. That geezer's got something to do with Mickey getting cold feet. Well, Hunter. Then you have to look at him together to see how Mickey looks up to him, right? He probably wants him all to himself. <laughs> have you seen Phil? He's sitting in on Nick's interview. What interview? With your prom mom. Hey? From this new outfit on the Bronte, Nick arrested him. Phil wanted to keep CID up to speed, so he said. 
Did he now? Well, I wish you'd keep me up to speed. Right. Who were the other people in the car? No comment. Who was driving? No comment. Why were you there? No comment. And whose drugs were they? No comment. Are you going to no comment this whole interview? I don't know nothing about no drugs. Did you find any drugs on me? Was it even my car? No. No, it wasn't. It was stolen. It wasn't me driving. Listen, mate. You were well tooled up. And we found a load of what is probably cocaine. This was a drug deal, right? No, man. I was there to sort out the commotion on the estate. Cool things down. I'm a peacemaker. <laughs> now, what is obvious is that somebody set me up. Then tell us who was in the car. You think that will cool things down? Mm-mm. Listen, mate, why don't you do yourself a favour? You had a machete. And believe me, as things stand, we'll be pushing for the maximum penalty on that. You want to talk about maximum? No, your friend run me over with him car. Now, how do you fancy maximum penalty on that? So when exactly was I going to hear about this? Uh, right now, Gov. Now Nick's interviewing. I'm all ears. We went down to the Bronte. Uh, we were on the outskirts, looking to follow up on certain faces that we knew, you know, where they were, who they were with, all the stuff from the briefing, Gov. When we heard Nick's call for assistance. And? Well, Reload was trying to take him out, Gov, with a blade. It was a whopping great thing. Oh, and you served the dead, did you? Yeah, it was a bit disappointing, actually. We let a couple of suspects get away. We chased them into the Bronte, but you know what a rabbit war in that place is. More than I ever realised. And this one claims that he was there to settle a truce. Only Nick and Cass found a kilo of Charlie. I guess it was more about that. Well, I'd do more than guess. Yeah, but it was definitely good work from Uniform. Credit where credit's due, Gov. When we called to put out the car that's on fire, but I'm not happy going in without a police escort. Not with things the way they are. And where on the estate is it? On the waste ground at the northeast corner. Well, it's in Sierra 1 and Sierra Oscar 84. Hey, we'll send two cars down right away. OK, thanks. Anything more on the Bronte? Make sure I know about it. Uh, Saddle Police Station. There's a fight on the Bronte. Oh, uh, Mom. <laughs> oh, what kind of a fight? Box, 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 box. It's like a gang thing. There's a load of them now running under the building, out to, uh, out to the kids' play area. Nick and Gemma again. Make it a priority over the car business and make sure the fire brigade know, right? OK, we're sending two cars down right away. What's your name, please, caller? Seems pretty quiet, doesn't it? Shame. Why? Well, I was well up for it, me, wasn't I? No, I mean, why call us in? Why bother getting us down here? And why should you keep quiet about it? Well, he gave me credit for the arrest. You bought your silence more like. Did the DCI and the DI know that he operates like this? How long are you going to put up with it, Nick? He's done this more than once now. Do you have to get your arm chopped off before you go to the DCI, the governor? What, say what? That you're fed up of being his creature. I don't understand you, I really don't. So what the hell are you and Hunter doing on the Bronte? Well, we weren't exactly on the Bronte, you see. Oh, don't get cute. DS Hunter wanted to scout around, uh, see if we could see any of the faces from either crew, uh, who they met or uh, where they went. DS Hunter wanted to? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, a bit of sharp practice over a single arrest is one thing, but kicking off a turf war is something else. So, yeah, Roscoe from 149. There's a load of bricks and rubble in that up here, but it looks like it's all over now. Oh, you two! Gary, watch your back! Put it down! What? Oh! Gary! Gary, leave me! Forget it! Come on! 
have already had four calls about the Bronte this shift and one from the fire brigade asking for cover to attend. So you want TSG now, do you? No! I want the situation to calm down, not get stirred up. Meaning? That we don't become the targets, Jack. Gary nearly had a fridge dropped on so him. So why is that any more of a danger now than it ever was? Because we arrested one of the key figures. And this rising tension seems to be the outcome. Well, Uniform made the arrest. Oh, what does that matter? We need a coordinated strategy. Waiting around for the superintendent is not going to solve a thing. Whatever we decide today, maybe change tomorrow. Oh, come on, Jack. No super worth his salt is going to ignore the advice of the people already there. Yeah, well, Chandler did. Adam Accaro is not Tom Chandler. King is dead, long live the king. Oh, so that's what this is all about. Unfinished business about Tom Chandler. Maybe. Well, maybe I've had enough of different men being brought in over my head. You know, maybe I just don't want to justify myself all over again to somebody. Or maybe just the idea of a, a new man reminds me that the previous one died such an ugly death. Anyway, Adam Ocaro. What's he like? Like I said, not Tom Chandler. You were with him. Oh, who told you that? He did. He made a courtesy call when he got the post. Very new Met. Oh, I've not seen him in years. Oh, he's clever and he's stubborn and he... What? I was a PC when I knew him. I've got no idea what kind of superintendent he'd make. <laughs> Hey. Hi, how you doing? Oh, good. That's him in a hurry. Oh, well. What do you think I'm doing? Whoa, well, slow down. Come out of my face, yeah. Hey, Where are we going? Don't get involved, you know. I see your thing. Don't get involved, yeah. Bow! Alpha Golf Romeo. It was a green goal. The IC3 with a gun was 20. Six foot, short hair, lean build, baseball cap. The other IC3 was uh, older, maybe 25. Short hair, six nothing, skull cap. Mom. Adam. Hello, Gina. So the information from the school is that the child's name was Charlotte Byrne. Her father is Tony Barrett, a.k.a. Reload. Let's have a look in this paper. Go! So I come to sleep was right there on the spot. His own daughter's at the school. Great. So that makes him look good, but it don't do us any favours, does it? Right, I can't wait. Sorry you had a gun stuck in your face in your daughter's school playground, sir, but it's only the tip of the iceberg. Sir? Sir? I didn't see you come in, sir. I think the circumstances demand it, don't you? Uh, we're just on our way to the scene now. Uniform can handle it. My office, I think. We've got all night for you to tell me just how big this iceberg is. Well, he had the gun pointed right at him and he didn't back down. That's what I heard. Right, which way's the canteen? Um, this way, I think. Yeah. Great, a girl fight. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later on in court. Anything you do not say, Mark, you So, what's your name then? Chloe. Right, what's it all about then, Chloe? 
We were, though. We can wait. She said. So who's we? She's real deal, isn't she? Sorry? Real deal crew. Ah. Oh. So you're off the Bronte then? You're with the uh, the other lot, the uh, centre side. Is that what this scrap was all about? She's mouth enough because one of her guys got nicked. Her top guys. But I'm, I'm not with anybody. Only they don't see it like that. You're either with one or the other. You're not going to arrest me, are you? She started it! You'll know for next time, won't you? You can't take me down there. You can't. Why not? You've got reload down there, haven't you? For someone who ain't involved, you know an awful lot about it. If you take me down there, he can't see me. Why not? He just can't. Why not, Chloe? If it's been building up for a while, then why haven't we done anything about it? We're responding on an incident-by-incident incident basis. Is there a pattern? It's a conflict. Two crews trying to operate on the same estate. It's about drugs. The data on Crimin could tell me that. What's our strategy? Well, now you're here, sir, it's open for discussion. But I think we should consider the TSG. The TSG is for situations that are out of control. And out of control is not part of my vocabulary. What's Uniform doing? Defensive strategies. We've stopped foot patrols. And we respond with more than one vehicle. And the public are told to come to the station to report rather than send officers out to them. So the press is right. We're making it look like a no-go zone. Oh, you read that, did you? Hard to miss on the front page. Well, it's sensationalised as usual. Understandably. When we've got kidnap attempts and guns in our local schools, in my daughter's school. It has all just hotted up in the last 24 hours. Why? Well, possibly because we arrested one of their prom noms and recovered a kilo of cocaine. On the face of it, that sounds like a good result. But not if it stirs up a hornet's nest that we're not ready for. Does arresting this prom nom help achieve our overall objectives? Not so far, no. That's right. Because we don't seem to have any. Is there a tame contact on the local paper? Yeah, the crime reporter. But I don't know how tame he is. We should try and get some good spin out of this morning before he writes it up as more mayhem. Do you want to get the relief together for a few words? I could get CID here by lunchtime. I don't think so. They'll get to know me soon enough. We don't need words right now, Jack. We need a bit of action. We just need this girl for threatening behaviour. I mean, she's a little bit scared of Tony Barrett. She doesn't want him to see her. Why is that? Well, the fight she was in was crew related, but she won't say any more than that. I just thought she'd let you know. Yeah, okay. I'll bear it in mind. Hey, Sarge, you don't know where Phil Hunter is, do you? No idea. How firm is Detroit and Centre Sides hold on this place? And how was that for you, Linda? Very nice, thank you. A bit rushed, but that's fine. As long as you don't make a habit of it. Would you know? Why? Because we had a little bit of work that didn't go quite right this morning. A little bit of work? Don't be so cagey, what happened? Well, we nicked a top man from the real deal. And someone left a kilo of Charlie. Ooh, got any with you? Harley, why would the real deal crew and centre side be making deals? I thought they were at each other's throats. Mm. Sounds exciting. Show me. Mm. Oh, I'll leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. <laughs> Hello? When? Look, I'll sort something out. I will, straight away, OK? What? Chloe has been arrested. Why? These poxy crews, she's got caught in the middle. Well, how did she get caught in the middle? I don't know. You're not good to me stretched out there. Get down your neck and do something. What, like what? Like, get her out. <laughs> Craig, Phil. Have we had a teenage girl brought in? Uh, she got into a fight at school or something. Yeah, she was arrested for threatening behaviour. Oh, yeah, what's she doing? She spat at Nick Klein. Why? I know the mum, I said I'd ask. Listen, that sounds a bit Mickey Mouse if that's oh, what no, she's no, done. No, 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 talk to Cass or Nick. They were the arrest. I mean, she's not officers. liable to be charged. I mean, it's a bit minor, isn't no, it? No, I'm not having this conversation. You want to influence what happens, speak to the arresting officers, all right? It's me. I just had a little chat with a refuge worker who lives on the Bronte. One of the normal people. Yeah, that's right. Now, his son knows the centre side mob, but he says it's all kicked off because that coat belongs to Detroit's. Oi, behave yourself! Shut up! Kids. Now, Detroit is saying that Reload has set him up. He's going to pay for it. Blood or money is what he's saying. 
Are you going to tell the DCI? Well, what do you reckon? Just don't go back on what we said yesterday. You seem pretty chilled about getting a gun stuck in the new super's face. I'm not. Look, I didn't do it and neither did you. So we're not responsible. Right? No one knew this was going to happen. But now that it has, we're along for the ride. Yeah, well, I don't have to like it, do I? No. Just as long as you stick to the story. If anyone comes to see Tony Barrett, I want to know about it. Well, he's not wanted a brief so far. He's done a virtual no comment. Someone tried to kidnap his daughter. I mean, to know if anyone comes in to tell him about it. Well, have we got a party line on that? Mm. The super wants to keep him in the dark for the time being. It won't help matters to have Mr. Reload on the warpath. Well, uh, damned with faint praise. Well, I warned you. Got a little space into the bargain. We need actions, not words. Well, we do. Do you know what our hero's doing now? He's called the press, so he can blow his own trumpets. If you want him to give you a chance, Jack, then you'll have to give him one. He's a career man, you know as well as I do. This is just one stop for him on the way to being but a commander. Dive will be here for more than a well, year. Well, what does it matter? He's not stupid. He's a good officer. And you'll see that you are. If you let him! Hey! Hey! I've got a bone to pick with you. I know, I know, I'm sorry. About standing me up or showing me up? That police saucer sign in the paper, you can't do that. And as for standing me up, where were you? Look, I really can't talk now, Cass. Not good enough. Look, I know it sounds tired, but I needed some space. I didn't want to spend an evening droning on about my ex-wife pestering me, because to be frank, that's where my head was at. Now, look, I can't talk now. I've got an appointment with the superintendent. And when were you going to stoop to get in touch? I was hoping to see you to apologise, and now I have. Oh, come on. You've got a lot of ground to make up before you get any of that. Cass. Just a moment. What did he say? Some rubbish about needing space. Give him some, then. Maybe I will. Gotcha. I've been after you. Why, what have I done? It's what you can do next I'm interested in. You know that girl Chloe you nicked? You couldn't cut us some slack, could you? Why? Well, I know the mum. Oh, you're going to have to do better than that. Come on, Cass. Number one, it sounds like it's no big deal. Number two, she's under a lot of strain. And it's bad news she's been banged up the same time as this reload fella, cos she's petrified of him. Why? She made the mistake of going with him. What? But when she found out what he was into, he started threatening her and knocking her about. Now she's trying to avoid all that kind of crap, and this ain't going to help sort her head out, is it? Well, how about it? All right. On one condition. What? You lighten up on Nick. <laughs> What's he been saying? Nothing, but I know what I see. Well, I don't know what you mean, but if that's what it takes, done. Superintendent wants to see you. What about? Reload's arrest and sparking up some sort of vendetta on the Bronte, according to Ken's latest info. What happened was Nick Klein's arrest, Gov? Yeah, will you tell the boss that? He's obviously into micromanagement. Wants to talk to you all individually. Get the whole picture. See the new super. Me too. That's not a problem if we hold the line. Yeah, right. Well, thanks for getting me involved. You're welcome. In fact, you have something to keep you solid. No, hold on, I ain't doing this. Take it. Enjoy. All right, Nick. I was off duty, and to be honest, my spontaneous reaction was as apparent. Well, thank you for talking to me. Well, we can always talk, Simon. Even when we don't like the way the other one's doing his job. Gina. Can you, uh, hunt Cass up for me? I thought you needed some space. I'll be outside. I've told Craig Gilmore, the custody sergeant, about your concerns over visitors to the prisoner. He said he'll keep me posted. Good. And the officers you wanted to speak to are free if you are. Shall I send them up? Before you do. Tell me about Jake Meadows. He surprised me this morning. It didn't fit what I'd heard. Well, what have you heard? But he likes to roll his sleeves up, get involved, and if he has any faults, it's down to that. 
he gets too involved, not enough perspective. Maybe, but not so as I'd see him. I don't expect you to run him down behind his back. I just want to know if I can work with him. You don't have any choice. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You're new, Samantha's new, I'm new. Jack Meadows is the only person above Sergeant who knows his patch. You need him. I don't need someone who sits on his hands, no matter how much he knows. Or has he given me enough rope to hang myself like the previous occupant of this chair? It pays to know what you're getting into. When I heard you were coming, I half expected you to call me. Why? I thought that's how you like things, Gina. Strictly professional. I'll send those officers up. about a drugs bus near the Bronte. What? Or something about a suspect being hit by a car. You're unbelievable. Go on, tell me. You know you want to. Simon, I wouldn't even give you the time of day. I'm not your snout, and I don't really want to fit into your busy dating rotor. Do you know what? You're chucked. In fact, no, you're not even chucked, are you? Because I don't think I was ever really going out with you. Cass? Cass, don't be like that. Did you recognise any of the men in the car? No, sir. I'd never seen the one who was driving, and the one that got away was wearing a hoodie top like a lot of them do. And he was an icy one? Yes, sir. Might he have been this Detroit's character? He might have been, sir, but uh, he denied it when DS Hunter and DC Drummond questioned him about it. So, there's this meeting or drug deal, possibly between the two top figures of the two local crews, and what? You just happened upon it? Yes, sir. Uh, four people sat in a car just like that. Routine police work. Would you call it routine? For CID to back up uniform? In my experience, it goes the other way around. So what did you say? We called for assistance and you gave it. Cass? Don't worry. She was the same. Come. You wanted to see me, sir? I'm trying to get my head around these Bronte problems as fast as I can. I need to understand what happened yesterday. I'll explain what I can, sir. When Uniform arrested this reload character, you were in the area. Gathering intelligence. What intelligence? The DCI wanted all he could on the main faces. Their families, their vehicles, their routines. So you were hoping to find and follow some of the main faces, were you? Yes, sir. And as luck would have it, you did? The uniform did. What made you think you might? It's obviously drug trouble. We knew the hot spots, so we covered the areas. Where? Golding's Crescent, Bevan Park and Stanford Parade. And uh, who was there? What did you see? No one, sir. Nothing. It was a bit early. Thank you. Shall I go, sir? Yeah, thank you. And, um, send Ken Drummond in. Sir. Go. Yeah. Will you come and interview Reload with me? You've already done that. Yeah, well, the stakes just went up. The new super's taken a personal interest in it. Come on. Any news on the car from the kidnap attempt? Uh, stolen. They haven't found it yet, but I'm sure they'll dump it. Is CID clean? What? They've had their problems in the past. Did they root them out? Yes. Jack Meadows has a connection to that past. You said so yourself. Jack, he's one of the good guys. What about Undame? 
any cliques? Nick Klein made that arrest and Cass Rickman. Nick Klein told me an edited version, but I think that was fear, not calculation. And Cass Rickman's a bystander on this one. That still involves uniform and that still reflects on me. Phil Hunter said he was out fishing. He's too clever to go out fishing at the wrong time of day. I think he had someone under surveillance used uniform as cover. Which doesn't have to be a problem if that's how they work. I know where I stand, I know what to work with. They? Does that include Jack? Jury's still out on that one. Officer would like another interview. You said yesterday you reckon you got set up. You get me. The two people in the front of the car get away. And we think we know whose drugs they are. What we want you to do is to confirm it. Do you know somebody called Alan Marr? No comment. You might know him by his street name, Detroit's. For the purpose of the tape, Mr. Barrett shaking his head. The uh, two men who were with you yesterday in the car, who were they? No comment. Were either of them Alan Marr, Detroit's, or any other member of Centre Side? Yo, I am not an farmer. And I know what this is. No, you want me to say what you said in the corridor, kind of parrot fashion, so that you can get it on tape. I didn't tell you to say anything in the corridor. You're a liar. No, you said you knew whose drugs they were. And all I had to do was to confirm who set me up. I know you're spoon feeding me with names. You think me stupid? for the purpose of the tip. That's not what I said and that's not what I meant. You seem to have misunderstood me, sir. Police boy, you misunderstood me. And you're still doing it. By accepting a caution, this incident is now closed. However, get in trouble again and this option is unlikely to be open to you. You should be glad you've got such influential friends. Come on. This way. Come on, move. Move. Come on. Come on. Come on. How did that happen, Sarge? What? That girl. I thought we said not to let Reload see her. Well, Cass wanted her release. Talk to her about it. Thanks, Cass. I'm going to take her own. All right. Who's that her? Yeah, Phil Hunter's taking her home. Phil Hunter? He's a friend of her mum's, but he told me about Aaron Reload. But I'm sorry they saw each other, mate. I didn't know you were interviewing. What did he tell you exactly? That Chloe went out with Reloads and he beat her up. Well, no wonder she didn't want to see him. But hang on a minute. Like, Reload barely looked at her. I can't believe for one minute they went out of each other. Who told you that? Phil Hunter said that her mother asked him to step in. And she's his now. Who is? The mum. Chloe talks to her, she talks to Phil. That's where he's got it. That's where he's getting all his information from. What a hole that place was. I don't know how I should thank you. Yeah, well, I can think of something. I bet you can. And stop doing that. It's distracting. That's the idea. Don't you like me anymore? I'd like you a lot better if I trusted you. You know, I'm taking a lot of flack at work covering up for you. Covering what? Your part in what happened yesterday. You got him, didn't you? No, it's not my fault you let the other guy get away. You no, know, but it's your fault that I only got half the story. A kilo of Charlie and people are apt to put up a fight. Now, we're lucky there was no guns. I told you what I heard. What you do with it is your business. 
you don't mess with me, Chloe. I've got a long memory and a long reach. Has the superintendent talked to you about Nick Klein and Cass Rickman? Yeah. I knew it. He's cutting me out of the loop. No, no he's not. Well, he hasn't talked to me about Phil Hunter and Ken Drummond, has he? So what did he say? Ask him yourself, Jack. I will not be put in the middle by either of you. Why not? That's a job, isn't it? Being in the middle. What about this aggro at the Bronte? Bunch of bad guys carving up another. That's us, in the middle. And for what? I mean, don't you think it's ironic that this mess is down to bad crime on bad crime? And we're still supposed to care? We're up against it out there, and I'm being undermined back here! You are not being undermined. You're just having a bad day. Sierra Oscar 1 from Sierra Oscar receiving. Go ahead, Luke. It's kicked off on the Bronte Gov. Major disturbance. Oh, bloody marvellous. Thank you, caller. We're already aware of that situation. So what's the Sierra 1, Sierra Oscar 8, 4 on way, Gov. The information room at New Scotland Yard had deployed the TSG. Well, what's happened? Sierra Oscar from 249, receiving. Oh, go ahead, Gemma. What was the name of the informant? The woman we were looking for, over. A Mrs. Barrett, over. Barrett? As in Tony Barrett, reload? Yeah, she's his mum, Gov. Dwayne Barrett, his 12 year old brother, has been snatched. It's now turned into a running gang battle. Oh, bloody gangs. Now come on! What are you, Jeff or something? Get back! What's going on? There's been a pitch battle on the Bronte estate. Reload's younger brother's been kidnapped. So that was obviously tip for tat. Detroit must think that Reload had something to do with yesterday's stop and search. The press want a reaction. I want you and Tina here while I make a statement. A statement? Yes. I think you better count me out of that one. What? Nothing personal, sir. But I've actually put him for the transfer. I don't think there's anything else I can give Son Hill. We're going to have the statement now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will move past me. Thank you. Now, my name is Adam Ocaro. I am the new superintendent at Sun Hill. I have a brief statement to make regarding the disturbances on the Bronte. Next time on The Bill. I'm arresting you for violent disorder. Do you know why things are a lot more complicated than we thought? Yeah, because Linda and Chloe Kendrick... No, because you've been taken for an idiot by two women who have their own agenda, which might have been obvious to anyone who was thinking with this rather than this.